I believe they must have had some water damage in here at some point and there the floor is like basically missing over in this corner of the tub there is nothing there okay so it's supported pretty well very well actually right here and decent over here where we get over here there's a bunch of give and I'm worried that somebody's gonna put their foot through there eventually um, because there's nothing really supporting there and like I said there's nothing to be able to support it because they had water damage and that's missing a lot of this floor over here got some, uh, replaced but I think they just decided once they got to the easy, the hard parts just not to do them so my goal is today is to try to just see if I can take this tub out and then um, once I take that tub out work on fixing the floor underneath there and then support the, pull up the tub properly so we're gonna see how that goes you always run into fun things I can tell right here there's this part of the wall it's soft I you know didn't notice that before but you can tell it's definitely got some water damage right here hopefully that's just from tub water not from outside but it's on the corner so it could go either way One of the annoying parts is you gotta make sure to get this drain out. I'm just trying to see if I could just do it from the top here, but I'm gonna have to go underneath. So this is my how I get access to the bathroom. Obviously the bathroom door's here. And then right behind here is my refrigerator. And then underneath the refrigerator is an access panel. Or a cabinet really, but then also X is an access panel for the plumbing here and that's the bottom of the tub right there okay so this was my makeshift hand yeah all right we are free that's my bad spot on the corner so we're gonna see how that goes oh, get some good movement I don't know if you can see how well you can see this, but that's the floor there. And I can guarantee you there's nothing here. Right here. It's empty. Good portion of this was just missing already and then some of it I pushed out because it was all rotten and wet and gross and yucky. Um, so yeah, not very good. But anyway, we're going to work on it. Um, the good news is, is that there is a nice uh, new 2x4 uh, right over here so I can get a new board on that that's good and then there's a good two by four right here too or I think it's a two by four anyway there's a good board right there over there that'll help a lot to get going what we need here 
I'm just trying to cut out a little bit more with my uh, circular saws what I'm going to use just because that's what I've got and make it so I can get a new board on that stud right there in between that square where the plumbing is and the what's left of the board is, is is a wood stud there so i need to take a little bit of that off so i can put a new board on on there and then we'll be all set to go so i put a board over here on this side to brace there and then one over here at the top, screwed it into that uh, board that was already there. And then also screwed it into the side because there's a little bit of board left over here on this side. But not very much because like it went about to here. And then all the rest was is all gone because it was rotted out. So we just had to do the best we could by screwing it into there screwed it into there then over here I screwed it into that to that board that was anchored that way into there and then over here there really wasn't much to screw into it it just kind of wedged it in the back corner here as best I could um, maybe I'll try to not throw a screw in there I just cut out insulation board and thrown that in that uh, hole there and the frame bar is uh, right goes runs right along here, so I had to cut two pieces to fit it in together because I didn't have one. I couldn't do one whole piece because I didn't have enough. So anyway, I just you want to make sure you run them this way so they're sitting on that um, support frame or beam or whatever you want to call that underneath there, so they don't just fall through. So I've got my board all painted up. Got my notches over here and over here. This is for where the wire goes. This is for where the water lines are uh, coming out for the draining drainage lines. And uh, we're gonna see how it fits in. We'll see how it goes. I should uh, have it right. If I don't, I'm gonna be mad. How does it look? Good. Don't lie to me! <laughs> uh. Looks great. Okay, obviously this wall is not that great. Um, it uh, just seems to be a little soft over here, especially right here. It probably had some water over here. And um, over here too, you can tell that's pretty bad.
a lot more like insulation than I thought we'd find. Right. Anyway, now you can see this. You can see how it's gotten wet in here and it's all icky. You now kind of starting over here. So it must be from the outside. This part all feels a little off, you know. It doesn't feel solid. And then da 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 da. I just uh, took this little piece of uh, insulation out here. It's really not that thick and not that great. And I went ahead and I put in some nice insulation board in here. This is nice because this is on the back corner that is uh, more susceptible to uh, condensation and whatnot. So this uh, uh, board will help mitigate some of that. Also, I went ahead and I reinforced this corner with a treated piece of like two by two, I guess is what this is maybe. Um, right in here, there was, you know, this was this part from from here down to here was very, em was completely empty. And then there was a backboard back here. And I went ahead and just screwed that in to kind of give that a little bit of extra um, strength as well as then when I put a, a cover over this, I will have something to screw into over here if I'd like. What I'm gonna do here is we just cut this uh, piece right in here and I kind of laid it up in here, but I wasn't sure exactly how to get it right at the bottom there. So I'm just gonna take my Dremel and, and cut that out just a little bit. goggles I didn't and I regret it. <laughs> covered up that uh, foam board that I put in there and I put that you know thing back there covered it up down there so I've cut out spots for trying to slide it in on the wall where the faucet comes out of no, it doesn't work <laughs> Fun getting things into a small RV. Okay, we're still working on the bathroom here. Uh, got some trim, and I'm working on trimming up the trim. <laughs> going. I said go ahead. I know. I said it's going. <laughs> I'm talking about you. Go ahead what? I said you explain to people what we're doing. Oh, well, I don't know what we're doing. You don't know what we're doing? We're pulling out this back paneling that we've dry fitted or whatever you call it so that we can start gluing it to the back wall. Oh, that was so hard, wasn't it? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Dork. Hey, you can have this. Thanks. Merry Christmas. You are so special. Aww. <laughs> I'm 
Hi, how are you? Just chilling, making sure that this glue really gets in there, you know? Never hurts to give it a nice, good, solid push, you know? <laughs> So, hope I don't look creepy or anything. <laughs> no, <not at> <laughs> or weird. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Let's see how it's looking to you guys. Awesome. Huh? Huh? Ooh. Not too bad. We're Matthew McConaughey. Alright, alright, alright. Okay guys, here I've gone ahead and, uh, like we saw in the last section, done these walls, and I went ahead and put this back up here. All done. I couldn't find that end over there, but oh well.